Some of you might know that I am recovering from Bell's palsy. It's a temporary facial paralysis that can come on suddenly. Bouncing back from it, that takes a lot longer. It forced me off the air here for a month, and I posted about what I was going through on social media. I have been amazed by how many people told me that they have had Bell's palsy or they know somebody who has. Let me tell you, it's a terrifying thing to not recognize the face in the mirror and not know what to do about it. So I wanted to take some time here to explain what Bell's palsy is, how it happens, and a little bit about the recovery. I spoke with a doctor at University Hospital and my own physical therapist. Six weeks ago, the left side of my smile disappeared. My left eye wouldn't close. Nothing on the left side of my face would move. We think that Bell's palsy is caused by uh, a virus, the same virus that causes cold sores. Um, and we usually think of it as being something that has been probably sitting in your system for a while and it get re gets reactivated, usually by a stressor or by an illness. That virus causes inflammation near the ear, which presses on the facial nerve. That means that the forehead muscles will be weakened. Um, the eye will, will have difficulty closing because the, the muscle that squeezes the eye closed is affected. Many people, like myself, have to tape their eyes shut to protect it. That's the immediate threat of Bell's palsy. The rest requires a lot of patience. Approximately 70% of patients will recover completely within about three to six months, and that's the typical course. I remember you said you can go side to side, you can go up and down. I began physical therapy about three weeks into my diagnosis. So we tried to do a lot of massaging techniques that are real gentle at first, you know, and help you to stretch your face and move it so that we support the healing process. Mm -hmm. So see how where there's still the fingerprints? Yeah. So that's indication there still is a tiny bit, not much, but there's a little bit of swelling, you know, that's kind of still in there. Really a lot of it is just allowing that nerve to be in the best environment to heal and sort of reconnect with the different muscles. The emotional and psychological impact of a facial nerve paralysis makes you need to do something. You come all the way around the nostril, reset, mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've definitely been yeah. doing these. This is great. Yeah. Doing something, feeling proactive, working with a physical therapist, meeting the physicians who are going to kind of walk with you along this journey can psychologically make a huge difference. And for me, I think that makes a huge imp impact on how patients feel overall. Now, I will say there seems to be a lot of debate on what treatments help. The stats say that 70% of people without any treatment at all will get better. But for me, physical therapy has made me feel more positive, more proactive. Some recommend acupuncture. I've done that too. I do want to point out, though, that it is extremely important if you do have any of those facial paralysis symptoms to see a doctor to make sure that you haven't had a stroke. Doctors also believe that if you're put on a steroid and antiviral medication within the first 48 to 72 hours of symptoms, you may have a better recovery. There's a lot more right now on KSAT.com that I can explain. There's so many details I've learned and just want to share with everybody. It's got to be frustrating from the standpoint that we live in a world where we want immediate results. Oh, yes. I wanted and someone to say, here's this medication. You you'll will be, be better, better in a week. Yeah. That's not the way this works. No. It's dependent upon your body. It's dependent upon just how your body reacts and bounces back from this. Some people, like I said, two weeks, they're better. A year later, they may not be better. It just yeah. depends. It very, I had a lot of questions, so I'm glad that you did that story because well, I kind of answered some of them. There. Like I said, a lot of people reached out to me saying that they had their They've own had treatments it, yeah. they sought, they had their own questions, so I hope that helped a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I don't know what you mean, though, when it comes to now, nowadays with our technology, everybody thinks oh, yeah. there's an immediate answer. Yeah. We want instant gratification, yep. right? And